great John Elway doing everything he can to make sure he is forever the best quarterback to wear a Denver Broncos uniform. They trade a fourth round pick for Joe Flacco. You are wearing blue and orange. Coincidentally. <laughs> Non-coincidentally. You had a jersey that said fourth round pick on the back. I've gone. noticed that's gone. Let's think of this from really the only standpoint that you can, which is they pick up a quarterback. Does that make them a better team next year? If it does, it's a marginal upgrade over Case Keenum. I mean, that's the real concern here is that, you know, Joe Flacco has this long history of debate about him. How good has he ever been? He went on one spectacular run that ultimately won the Ravens a Super Bowl, got him the $100 million contract that they've kind of been saddled with ever since. Because outside of that little stretch, his play has never been particularly good. He's been a bottom third NFL quarterback. And I think in recent years, the kind of physical tools that he at least had coming out, you know, incredible stature, big arm, pretty athletic for, you know, a guy of that size, all that appears to have abandoned him as well. So now he's just this shell of a formerly, you know, talented quarterback who's not getting it done. When you pulled up the war numbers, there wasn't a lot between him and Case Keenum last year. If they upgrade at all, it's maybe one more win. Maybe. Right. Like, perhaps. Joe Flacco about 1.2 wins above replacement. That ranks 23rd. Case Keenum was not great last year. About 0.7 wins above replacement. That was 25th. So like you said, maybe. Right. But the Broncos have a downgrade in terms of what Joe Flacco will be coming to from a pass protection standpoint. He is not exactly a sleuth in the pocket. What we know of Joe Flacco, I will say this, the Broncos with experience winning Super Bowls with quarterbacks past their athletic prime, so there's that. But even if you look at some just very basic things, let's say both quarterbacks are in a clean pocket, both of those guys in the 20s last season in grade from a clean pocket, it's the most stable metric we have. So to me, I see this trade if you're the Ravens, you're ecstatic. Absolutely. You get rid of Joe Flacco's contract. You weren't going to start him next year. You pick up a fourth round pick, which has some value, yeah. especially if you're a team that needs to say, support a young quarterback. And if you're the Broncos, this changes nothing, in my opinion, if I am going into the draft, right? I have a high pick. I have no certainty at quarterback going forward. I need to really closely evaluate quarterbacks in this draft. A guy like Kyler Murray, you need to do your homework on him because if he happens to be available where they yeah. pick and he is committed to playing football, you need to take that player. I mean, that has to be the hope for Broncos fans is that this does not change their draft strategy one iota. If anything, all it did was potentially upgrade the bridge quarterback to whoever it is that's gonna be the long-term answer at quarterback for Denver. If this is the answer for them at quarterback, the Broncos have got some problems. They need to target a first-round quarterback, they need to do their homework, figure out who they're gonna take at number 10 overall, and ideally hope that the best quarterback in the draft, Kyler Murray, is available at number 10. I mean, if I'm the GM of any team picking ahead of the Broncos, he will not be, but I'm not. Yeah. So you never know. For more, head to profootballfocus.com. Get a PFF Elite subscription so you can get all the information on all the players that the Broncos may need to draft coming up soon.